Hello everybody, it's Elect Zero again. It's been uh, quite a while since I have uh, made a video, so I figured I should make a video about a, uh, a cool application that I just made for Windows. Um, I use Winamp, and it was, and I've, I don't know, I was bored, so I, made, I, I wanted to figure out if I could control Winamp with my voice. I looked around online, and there are some, there are some applications for it people have made, but none of them, I don't know, they, have, they, they all either suck or look bad. And um, I wanted one that ran in the background, and when it wasn't in the background, it was very small and minimalist, and it didn't have um, Windows' voice recognition software thing that popped up at the top. I didn't like that at all, because that was just obtuse. Plus, it blocked my rocket dock. But, um, so I uh, piddled around today, and I came up with uh, this program that I made and uh, it's it uses Windows voice recognition software but it doesn't use the the little toolbar at the top I don't know what the difference is it uses an engine it uses the voice recognition software engine as opposed to a standalone library but anyway um, I don't know I enjoy it I think it's cool I'm going to make it open source I'm going to upload it in I'm gonna upload the source uh, in zipped format somewhere. I don't know where yet. Um, I will also upload the program. So for all you people who don't like to program uh, or don't feel like compiling it, you can just use it the way I have it set up. I will include a readme with all of my commands. Um, I have made it. I, I I've I've made it for myself primarily. So these commands are for me, and they're what I'd like. If you want to change them then please feel free to download the source and recompile it and do whatever you want. That's, I'm also not claiming this is the best way to do it, or I'm the best program in the world, because I'm not. If only I were. Anyway, so, for a demonstration. Um, at this point, the program is actually running in the background. Um, it looks like this. These buttons are just there for options. You don't actually need them. Um, I like to have it minimized down here. You can right-click, start, stop listening, you can exit. Those are also, well, you need that for killing program, but whatever. So, um, right now, it is not listening. Well, I mean, it's listening to me, but it's not. If I tell it to play, it does nothing. Now, if I tell, if I say, Winamp, listen, you hear the beep, that means that it is now listening. What if the devil was alive? Pause. What if God in it's obviously subject to, um... To Windows's recognition, so you know sometimes it fuzzes out a bit, which is why I included that option. Winamp ignore. Winamp ignore. See, and it has a lower tone beep when it, it stops listening. That's why I put that in, so you it also doesn't listen to you when you're doing other stuff. So that was, yeah. Sometimes it'll do that, but it it works pretty well. Um, for example, Winamp listen, play, last. Next. Volume down 10. On the coldest day, volume my down 100. My father, I was or volume down my max. Father my brother and I with a stubborn heart. Eh, forgetting my own voice commands. Volume up 50. Volume up 50. Pause. Winamp ignore. So, it's, um... There are only three volume commands. Uh... 10, down 10, up 10, down max, up max, down 50, up 50. You can change that um, if, if you want, if you compile the source. I've made it very modular. Um, uh, here, let me show you. This is... Uh, I didn't write all of... This is primarily what I didn't write, this part right here. Uh, I pulled this off the internet, but... Um, yeah, so... It's really easy to add new commands if you want to. You just do go in here in the load and uh, voice add command word, and then this tells it to listen for that word. And then over here in my custom voice recognition class, um, it does it does its thing. And then if it fig if it finds the word, for example, pause, I tell it to send a message to Winamp using this stuff. And with Winamp, pause. All the commands you can do are right here in the top. Previous, play, pause, stop, next track, volume up, volume down. You can even go forward and, and backwards five seconds if you want. I didn't include that because I have no use for it. 
Mm, excuse me. Um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. The volume control is very easy. I wrote this little little thing here, where you know you just specify how many how many steps or how many times you want it to repeat this. Um, it also does a smoother fade because, well, it to make sure that um, none of these none of these signals get lost, which every now and then they do or did. Um, this prevents a lot of that. It also sounds better than just having jump to different volumes. Um, now here are the beeps. If you don't like that, you can turn it off right... where did I put it? Here. Change these ones to zeros if you don't like the beeps. Um, it doesn't... it also does not beep when you click the buttons See, the zero there tells it not to beep. It doesn't beep if you click the buttons because I saw no need. So yeah, um, if you have any questions or um, want to yell at me for being a bad programmer or if you have any, what would be most helpful is uh, constructive criticisms on what I could have done better. Um, that would be very helpful. I'm not going to include my uh, Visual Studio project because I see no need for it. Um, so I'm just going to include the, uh, the .cs files for the source, and that'll be it. And you can, this is how I have my, um, so I have this, I have the, I have the two buttons, I have notify icon, context menu strip, I'm going to kill this, um, notify icon with the stuff over here, context menu strip with that, and then a timer, so when it runs, it will hide itself and not get stuck down here. So, yeah, um... Hopefully, someone will find it useful. If not, I find it useful. So, yeah. Everybody, uh, hope you enjoyed the video.